Yo, Robinhood, I'd love to buy a few shares of GameStop. Nah, man, no can do. What? Why? Yeah, sorry about that. Well, actually, nah, not really sorry about that. I'm so confused. What does that even mean? So our hedge fund buddies down on Wall Street made a little bit of a mistake. Okay, and? So we're gonna have to cover their backs. You see, they actually shorted GameStop and they were betting against them, but now the stock price is too high and they're out billions of dollars. So we've gotta, you know, bring the price down a little bit so we're not allowing anyone to invest right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed that little skit. Before we get into this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below because by the time you're seeing this, I've managed to turn over a YouTube video all on my own in one day. I'll also be making a lot of related content that you don't want to miss out on. I'm going to start out by explaining what's been going on the past few days as well as an update on where we are now. So to start fresh, Wall Street hedge funds pulled a massive short squeeze on GameStop. Now for anyone who doesn't know what that means, they essentially bet against them so that if the GameStop stock goes down, they'll come out with a big profit. Now believe it or not, this ruckus was actually stirred up by the subreddit Wall Street Bets, where individual traders got together and just decided to give Wall Street a run for their money. So many people from Reddit invested that it actually sent the stock price way up. They literally coordinated an attack on the shorts that were betting against the stock. That leaves all the Wall Street hedge funds stuck with buying the stocks. Can we just take a moment here to recognize the insane power of the internet? I find it absolutely ridiculous, but also hilarious that a Reddit thread had such a big impact on the stock market. Now this would never really work against companies that have large market caps, but this was the perfect scenario and it worked really well. After Redditors gave the stock its first little boost, meme pages and news outlets started picking it up and from there it blew up even further. This morning, January 28th, GME was up past $400. For some context, the stock price just over a week ago was $20, so this thing shot up an insane amount. There were some other stocks which were also coincidentally involved in conversations on the Reddit thread that were also affected by this. Specifically AKD, AMC, and NOK. However, we're going to focus on GameStop since it was the most affected and since it's got the spotlight on it right now. Before I tell you where we're at now and why it's important, I want to share a story with you that's definitely going to make some of you laugh. So I actually bought GameStop on January 14th when it was $33.51 a share. This was right when the hype started, so I thought I could have been onto something, but then I instantly regretted it. The stock fell really far down that day and I was scared of losing my $670. But the next day, I noticed it went back up and I sold it and basically broke even. Today it hit $404 a share, which means that I could have turned my $670 into more than $8,000. I think the important lesson to take away from this is that you can't be emotional about your investments. I think it's funny, but at the same time, I don't really care and I'm not really that affected by it. There was no real way to tell what would happen with the stock and there was also no way to tell when I would have sold it. But something that I will tell you is that if I turned my $670 into more than $8,000, I would be pissed at what's going on right now. So in response to the massive spike in GameStop, the hedge funds are freaking out. They've got hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars on the line, so if they lost the bet, they are screwed. Many of these firms lost billions of dollars on this, and some of them are going bankrupt as we speak. So they are scratching and clawing and doing everything they can to dig themselves out of this hole. Much of that now has to do with trading platforms, Robinhood being the first. Robinhood literally took GameStop off of their platform so that nobody can invest in it. A bunch of other trading platforms have followed suit and removed GameStop as well as a few other stocks and this has just furthered the crash. The corruption has to come to an end because it's literally taking our rights away as investors. What's the point in investing if we can't make money doing it? If a bunch of hedge funds are in charge of whether or not independent traders can make money, then what's the use? The hedge funds are totally allowed to manipulate you, but as soon as someone messes with their master plan, they want regulation. They also don't want anyone to be able to talk about stocks on the internet because right now it's hurting them. The best part is, some of these companies are actually complying with this BS. For example, Discord has actually banned the r slash Wall Street Bets server. They're obviously on the side of Wall Street here. The hedge funds have started to pressure all of these apps so that they could have things their way and to be honest, I'm not sure where everything is headed. These organizations have so much money and power that honestly, I'm not sure if the regular person who just wants to be able to freely invest in the stock market is going to come out on top here. Here's what the moderators from r slash Wall Street Bets had to say about their ban from Discord. We're suffering from success and Discord was our first casualty. You know as well as I do that if you gather 250,000 people in one spot, someone is going to say something that makes you look bad. 
The room was golden and the people that run it are awesome. We blocked all bad words with a bot, which should be enough, but apparently if someone can say a bad word with weird Unicode Icelandic characters and someone can screenshot it, you don't get to hang out with your friends anymore. Discord did us dirty and I'm not impressed with them destroying our community instead of stepping in with the wrench we may have needed to fix things, especially after we got over a thousand server boosts. That is pretty unethical. The best part is, these hedge funds are asking for a bailout from the government because of a mistake that they made on their part. To me, the stock market is like playing the lottery. There are a lot of risks involved and you need to be prepared with dealing with the repercussions of losing. This is why everyone always says that you shouldn't invest money that you're not prepared to lose. Looks like Wall Street couldn't take their own advice. By the way, the people whose investing rights are being stripped would actually be funding the Wall Street bailout with the money that they pay in taxes. Pretty ironic, isn't it? Now my question is, would you or I get a bailout if we made a bad investment? The answer is no, absolutely not, and not only would we not get a bailout, but we would also be laughed at, as we should be. Now this is a bit of a different video than I'm used to making, I usually don't like to touch on controversial topics, but I felt really strongly about this one, so I just had to. Anyways, I don't want to keep this video too long, so we're going to wrap it up here. Please be sure to leave your opinions down in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you all think of this. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it because it helps the algorithm. See you all on Tuesday for another video. Peace, everyone.